assalam alaikum and welcome to our channel i am dr mahad ismail ligand topology generation is a key step in the molecular dynamics simulation in today's lecture we will talk about that how we can generate the ligand topology using different force field mostly it's cover all the force field utilized by gromex amber charm or opls it is also known as ligand parameterization in this tutorial we will use windows wsl system as ubuntu 24 to generate the topology of a sample ligand so let's start for this tutorial you will need ubuntu go to your microsoft store and search for the ubuntu when you search for the ubuntu different version of ubuntu will be appear in this tutorial we are using ubuntu 24 just click on the install button and it will be installed as i have already installed it it is present in my start menu you can search ubuntu in the start and click it to open if you are using it for the first time it will ask you to provide the username and the password as we have already configured it so this will this window will appear when you have already configured your ubuntu as a wsl system the complete guideline for the ubuntu installation and and its setup is available in a separate tutorial on our youtube channel after the installation the first test step is update your system to update your system you need to run this command sudo app update and sudo app upgrade you can run them separately or you can run them collectively we will provide all these command in the description section of the video so go to the ubuntu paste this command and hit enter it will ask you the password enter your password and press enter it will check and see if there is update available it will install at our system is already updated so no more updates are available so next step is the giving is a path for the folder for this tutorial we have prepared a folder with the name top on our desktop click on the address bar you will find the path copy this path and we need to modify this path simple this is the path simply first of all you need to remove this one this is our path remove all the backward slashes with the forward slashes it says our folder is in the user hib is our next folder on it is your desktop and on the desktop it is top and before it you need to type cd space forward slash mnt mnt means mounted and mounted forward c and forward slash this says we are going to mount the drive c and this folder in it then you can change this command according to your folder position then copy this command go to the ubuntu terminal and press enter you can see now we are in the folder uh, at the top in in our desktop once our folder is set up the next com command is installation of the mini conda the mini conda installation is compulsory to install it you can copy this command this is the direct link copy this command or go to your browser and type this command you can see all the version of mini conda are available here we are interested in this one mini conda 3 latest linux x86 64.sh simply click on it and download this script this is the updated script which is provided by the anaconda 
for the Lysine preparation parameters. Our download is completed. Go to this folder, copy this Python script, and come back to your folder on the desktop and place this folder over here. Place this Python script in this folder. Or alternatively, you can use this command we get and this is the path of the file if you go to this command and type this command it will install and download sorry this will download directly from this one let me demonstrate you you can see it is now downloading directly from the website you can use either of this tool you can also use this method to download directly the latest version or you can use this command to download it directly. Our download is almost completed from this one. Uh, if you go back to our, so this is completed. If you go back to our top the top, you can see another file with the name dot one is appeared because it is duplicated. That's why it is named as duplicated. I just delete the one file because we only need the one python script to run once the python script is downloaded then we need to run this command which means we are going to execute this anaconda file copy this command and hit enter after this what we are doing now we are installing the minicoda with the python welcome to my miniconda 3 with python 3.13 Press enter to continue, type yes, then press again press enter, it is saying that it will install in the home directory with the name Maddy and the Miniconda 3, press enter, it is the default pathway for the installation. Now it's installing and unpacking all the files from the python script and these are the packages which will be installed, it will take few minutes to complete. Now it's giving another option. Uh, you can do this by running conda shell press or uh, sorry type yes and press enter and it is completed. Our conda has been installed. After installing the conda, we want to install umber tool. First of all, run this command conda search c conda forge umber tools. We need to find out the latest version. Type this command in the Ubuntu terminal and press enter. Uh, okay, it's giving an error that conda not found. The reason is that uh, we have just installed the mini conda. Once you have installed mini conda, you need to re restart your Ubuntu terminal. Uh, you can note that here before MADI at the rate of T480, there is uh, no information available here. Just simply close this window and then open Ubuntu again. Just you need to simply open the Ubuntu again. When you open the Ubuntu, you can see here the base is appeared, which means now the conda has been installed. After this, you just need to rerun this command conda search forge. It will search the latest conda and the forge to the umber tool, the latest version. Press enter. Now it's loading the channel and searching the website and internet to find out the latest version of umber. You can see that these are the umber tools, all available 21, 22, and 24. Point. The latest version is 24.8. So this is the latest version. After this, uh, as the version is 24, now we are going to create an environment. The creating an environment is just like you are creating a separate folder for Umber tool 24 within a conda. Uh, you can um, uh, see that like a big house, in big house there are number of rooms. So conda is a big house and Umber tool. 24 is a room in this corner. So we are going to create a folder 
copy this one and paste it there. So it's creating the new terms and it also asking type y and press enter and it say the environment has been created and you can activate it by running the command conda activate umber tools 24. We have provided this command here or you can directly copy this command and paste it here and type in the now you can see before it was this now it is in the specific folder umber tools 24 one is when it is done now we are going to install umber tool 24 in this specific folder conda install umber tool 24 this is our command which are going to install the umber tools in our system copy this command and press enter now it is starting the installation of umber tool depending upon your computer speed and the internet speed it may take few minutes it is asking that it will install all these package simply type y and press enter you can see the progress has been installed these are all the package which are present in the umber tool it will be installed depending upon your internet speed as it installs uh, let's download a ligand sample ligand for this tutorial i am going to use geftinib which is the anti cancerous drug uh, you can download it from the pubcam uh, pubcam server is down so we can find it from the cam spider you can use your own ligand for this one like this one here i open it from the cam spider and download the mole file or pdb file which file is available the file is downloaded just uh, go to the file and copy this file and save it in the top folder Here, there is a one thing to be noted. This Python script identifies the mole2 file and this one is the mole file. Just uh, to convert it into the mole2 file, you can use any online tool. You can use OpenBabel, you can use PyMole. For this tutorial, I am using Discovery Studio. Go to the file, open. And this is my file open this one the file is open now go to the file and click on the save as when you are going to save change it to the mold 2 file this is sci mold 2 files and I am going to change the name for easiness as ligand and save this file you can see here ligand.mol2 has been appeared now look at uh, look into your uh, ubuntu terminal and the umber tool installation has been completed so to check it either it is uh, installed successfully we can run conda list umber tool this is for the confirmation that our conda has been installed successfully and our umber tool has been installed successfully type the command and press enter if you see the information like this that name is umber tool version is 24.8 and the build is conda numpy python 3.3 and so on this means everything is perfect once you have installed the conda now we are using the package spipe for this we are going to use the command pip install spipe copy this command go to ubuntu terminal paste the command and press enter now it's collecting the information this is a small package with with the umber tool you can use any other tool uh, like uh, charm gui or you can use open mm these are different kind of packages but i will prefer spipe because it generate multiple kind of 
confirmations and topology files like it also generate for the gromix it also generate for opls and so on our installation has been completed once the installation is completed now the next step is the generation of topology now for the generation of topology this is compulsory that you have the correct file name with the dot mol2 file copy this file name and remember it for the this is the command which we are going to use to generate the topology acpy.i ligand.mol the name should be the same which was placed in your folder copy this command go to your ubuntu terminal type the command and press enter okay it's giving an error okay we got it we are in the wrong folder uh, just remember when we restarted the conda we didn't give it the path to the top dot which is present at our desktop which means it is just in the main number tool 24 but it is not in our folder which is present on the desktop for this one we just need to run this command which we generated to give the path copy this path and paste this and now we are in the correct folder to confirm type ls it will list all the molecules you can see it is the mole file miniconda python file and ligand 2 file now we again need to run this file acpype space minus i space ligand.mol2 the name should be the same which is present in your top folder copy this command go to ubuntu terminal paste the command and press enter you can see the procedure is now executing it is executing add chamber parameters and force field to generate the ligand topology depending upon your processor speeds and your the size of your ligand it can take uh, three minutes five minutes seven minutes and so on our topology generation has been completed you can see that uh, it the net charge was zero and uh, it executed and chamber uh, and then pram check executing t lab if the lab was okay and using open babel it produces the pdb file it produces the cns explore file it produces the gromix files then uh, it also produces the charm files and it's writing the pickle file the pki and also remove the template file and it took about six minutes to complete the job now we can go to your uh, folder and uh, this is our folder on the desktop with the top this is the file name ligand acpy and you can see here we have different kind of files you can see these are the end chamber file em files ligand.pki file you can view it then uh, frmdc file prm top file these are basically gaf2 files cns file gmx grow file itp file top file these three files are basically used for the topology generation using the gromix and these are opls files these are basically umber force field files these are basically cns file which can be used in nam uh, molecular dynamic simulations then these are pros ligand itp file which are used in um, gromix dynamic you can see almost all the popular uh, force fields topology files are present you can generate you can simply go there topology like you can click in your favorite notepad i use notepad plus plus to view the file you can see here this is the ligand gromix itp file this is the atom types molecule types atoms and so on so this is all about today using this tutorial you can generate topology file for the ligand using any kind of force field if you have questions you can ask in the comment section please like and subscribe for more videos
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग अल्लाह हाफिज़